Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Easy Service where I make survey practices easier and educative. Here in this video, I want to show everyone on how to make use of Google Earth in Autodex Civil 3D. Alright, so the first thing to do is to load in your data so you can import your survey data in form of coordinate of points or you open an existing drawing all right so that's the first thing to do okay however in the course of this video i'll be making use of an existing drawing i have on my 3d uh, work environment so here it is here so you can load in your survey data in form of coordinates just make sure that you have a data all right open up on the work environment just like what you are seeing on the screen okay therefore when you open your already existing survey drawing in civil 3d or you have actually loaded your survey data in form of coordinates just make sure that you are having a drawing or a data loaded up in the work environment in civil 3d after that you come to sign in icon here you click on that so you make sure that your system is connected to an active internet all right so you sign in into the autodex account your autodex account all right so you click on that so it is actually easy to sign in to create an account if you do not have an account with autodex just click on create account then you will see the steps it's just your email and your password that is really needed all right so i already have an account therefore i'm just going to impute my email so when you input your email you click on next then you impute your password Then you click on sign in then you click on yes so you should take note of this icon above then you are going to see it change and you will see sign in complete all right so you have successfully signed in when you see your account displayed at this particular icon here all right so after that you come to the top left icon which is the security icon here you click on that then you scroll down to drawing utilities then you navigate to drawing settings then you click on that so your drawing settings make sure that you are on unit and zone then you scroll to this icon here you click on that then you choose the projection system of your region so i'm in nigeria so i'm just going to type nigeria then i can scroll down to the end options all right so here it is then you click on your projection system of your own country so you click on your country so you can see that different countries here all right the usa with different uh, regions then etc all right so i'm in nigeria then i'm just going to leave it at nigeria so here at the available coordinate system you click on this drop down shadow arrow here so these are the different projection systems here in nigeria so uh the drawing is actually done on the mina utn zone 31 all right so if yours is done on mina nigeria mid belt you check on that or any other ones all right so you click on the zone of interest so i'm just going to click on my zone of interest so when you are done with this at this stage nothing to do at these other options all right the main options is the unit and zone so when you are done with the setup you click on apply then you click on ok then you navigate to geolocation you click on geolocation then you scroll down to map off you click on the drop down shadow arrow here so you can see map area you can see map road which is the road map then you can see map hybrid this has the labels and other area features of the satellite image of your region all right so i'm just going to start with map area first so you click on the map area then you wait for a while depending on how strong your internet connection is it's going to load up so here it is the region of my drawing so you can see this is the building of the primary school and other features within then you can see the open field which are the spot height and the rest of it so this is how to load in and make use of google earth in autocad civil 3d so the moment you keep zooming in you will see other regions being loaded up so you can see everything is so clear and so sharp so you can choose to extract features directly through the 
Autodex CivilTD uh, Google Earth uh, features. All right, so you can actually come to home. You can see all your tools, your polyline tools. You can draw, you can map different things. You can extract your features. You can do all form of measurements, and they are all onto the right scale. All right, so this is how to make use of Google Earth in Autodex CivilTD easily without any issues. So you can choose to come back to your location. Then you load up the map hybrid. So this is just what I'm saying. So it is going to come with labels. You can see these are the features, Lagos, Badagri, Expressway. So this is just the beauty of Autodex 3D. This feature is also available in AutoCAD 2021. All right, so you can just see the features you can extract all features and do your mapping directly all right through the autodex 3d work environment all right so this is google earth here that has been loaded up if you find this video helpful do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on the notification on this channel to keep getting valuable tutorial from this channel freely thank you for watching see you in the next video